doing? Very good. Uh, good to see the film festival back and back properly in all its forms. And this is this is not online. This is back uh, back physically. Back in a physical event, which is ultimately where these things uh, tend to excel. Um, they're not really built for an online space, John. Uh, people want to be sitting in an audience. They want to be in a dark room. They want to be um, hearing other audience members and how they're reacting to it. Filmmakers particularly want to see their, their work screened in front of an audience to see what's working, to see what's not working, to see what they might possibly adapt the next time they make a film. And uh, so that, that live aspect is hugely important in cinema. And obviously we're delighted that after two years of online, you know, has to be said, we were happy that we were able to do something online, that we didn't have to stop the, the festival completely, that we were able to continue to go into the sixth year, you know, taking our audience with us, I suppose, across those two years of COVID. But to be back in, uh, in our home in our home screen one uh, at the Ballyleffin Hotel uh, on Friday week will be will be amazing. And the fact that it's in person as well, that means that afterwards then you can talk to some of the people or some of the people behind the camera, I should say, can can talk to the audience or the audience can talk to them with a, like a question and answer, something that's well established at the festival. Absolutely. That's part of the, I suppose that's just part of the remit for any festival that they allow the filmmaker to talk directly to the audience and, and vice versa, that the audience can ask the, the filmmaker or the cast or the crew, you know, the editor, the, the cinematographer, some of the actors about what the process was like bringing that, bringing that um, idea to the screen. What was the theory behind it? What was the thinking? What was the inspiration? And maybe some of the difficulties that they faced in, in pulling that together to bring it from what was ultimately an idea at the beginning yeah. to a fully fledged film on screen for, for audience for audience viewing. You have a, a great selection, a very interesting selection of films again, and it opens with the new Sinead O'Connor biopic. Yes, it does. And nothing compares, which for any fan of Sinead O'Connor or anyone who's interested in Sinead O'Connor at all, and who in Ireland is not a fan of Sinead O'Connor. And I, I mean, this is a personal um, highlight for me because I've been a huge fan of her from day one. I've seen her live twice. Um, I follow her career, you know, closely. Um, when I hear her music comes on, music coming on, it lifts my heart. I think she is, you know, she's an incredible singer. She's an incredible asset to the country. And um, to be able to use this as our first film um, is, a, is a personal highlight for me. So it charts her career really from, the, I suppose, the early 80s um, right through to present day, the challenges that she faced as a, as a human being, but really just her meteoric rise to fame uh, over those years you know yeah, but sometimes, it's an excellent film. sometimes you underestimate just how, how famous she is and just how well known that she is around the world absolutely and you go to any corner of the globe but sometimes you say ireland and they're like ireland ireland and you can say sinead o'connor or you too and they're like sinead o'connor ireland yeah you too i know you know because it's through mm. music or you know those are the things that bond us ultimately at, a, at an international level so yeah she's known in every corner of the globe in fact, music is a recurring theme across the weekend. Yes, it is. And that kind of happened by accident rather than by, by um, you know, forcing it or, or trying to put a particular theme on the weekend. We just, when you throw out this thing at the start of the year, you just look at what, what people are submitting. And then you, I suppose that the festival forms itself around th that, those particular subject matters. So, for instance, yes, we have Sinead O'Connor launching. And then we have a number of uh, other musical themes, short films, short documentaries, one about a Danish uh, violin player uh, who's still who's 83 and continue to teach students in Denmark beautiful violin player. Uh, we have a, sort of a partnership with the Any Show and Traditional Singing Circle. Uh, we're showing their new film, which really is, is looking at uh, a documentary about that whole uh, community that is here in Any Show and in the greater Donegal area. Um, and uh, we are also showing a Song of Granite, which is a film about uh, Shano singing. So Shano's been a, an element of, of it as well. We're going to have a talk about uh, the resurgence of Shamlo singing and a talk about maybe the resurgence of, of, of Irish speaking in, in, the, in the county and, and, and in the greater country as well. And how does it work for shorter films? Do you do you show them like side by side? Um, are they are they part of a maybe a together in, in, a, in an evening event? Exactly that. So we have actually, and this is why I suppose we have begun, we were beginning to get a name for someone who's 
you know, supporting an event that is really supporting independent Irish filmmakers, particularly. We have six different programs of shorts. So each of those programs running for about 90 minutes uh, will have maybe six to 10 short films ranging from two minutes in length, in length to 25 minutes probably been the, been the top end of it. But so you could have six or eight or 10 films sometimes then depending on the length. So people come in and what I like, I am I love short films. I'm a huge uh, lover of short films in general because you can like, in a, you know, you can sit in to watch it and it has start, middle and end. The narrative all comes together or doesn't um, in, in that short space of time. And I love that idea. And, you know, for the, the, the um, smaller, um, for, for the kind of, population now that requires them to be um what's the word i'm looking for this instant gratification generation let's say who yeah. are looking for like you know a one minute piece on tiktok or a one minute piece on on facebook um this your short movies really fit into that kind of uh that new idea uh worldwide. okay, okay. Uh, and it's uh, i mean the the, the the length vary and the the themes vary too we mentioned there's a lot of films with you know on, on the theme of music but also uh mica the mica crisis for instance is 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 featured yeah the mica crisis has come up in a number of uh short films only i don't think we have a feature on it but we have one 25 minute piece um and we have another couple of short five and ten minute pieces yeah i mean obviously you know, content kind of reflects the world that we live in. So whatever the issues of the day, you mentioned at the at the start of this, um, when you were introducing that, you know, there's a lot more documentaries. And yes, there's a lot more documentaries because there's a lot more things happening in the world. And I think, you know, that document, filmmakers tend to reflect the world that we live in and whether that's through some of the issues of the day, you know, around the cost of living or, you know, MICA or whatever that is, uh, we find that reflected in, in the stuff that's submitted. So yeah, we have a couple of really excellent, um, really excellent work on, on the micro crisis alone and then other issues that are affecting the county and, and the, the country at large as well. And, and how does it work? Do you just put the word out there that, you know, you're open for submissions and then you, you take the, the, all the work that is submitted and you sit down and, and go through it and see what, what makes the cut or what might be interesting or what's topical? Exactly that. So we put out a call through a, a website called Film Freeway, which is the internationally renowned um, main access point for filmmakers to submit their work. So basically once Friday, once Sunday, once the last showing is over on Sunday, we'll open that up again for 2023 and the films will just start coming in. People are beginning to know what, what we're about now in terms of what our remit is and what kind of films we show and that we are interested in more sort of documentary and socio-political documentary uh, around that sort of stuff, you know, that has a meaning and has, a, you know, asks questions and creates discussions around the film screen. So people will look at those and go, you know, if they've got something that that's that's in that kind of realm then they think we would be a good fit for that so we go through them we uh we obviously have a limited time it's two and a half days it's one film on the on the friday night which is our launch which is is the sinead o'connor film and then it's just all day saturday all day sunday but you know there's a limited capacity in terms of how many yeah. films you can show there it's not running for a week it's not like the galway film Fla that runs for a week so we have to be kind of selective but it also means that the audience is getting the very best quality of stuff um, to, to watch and th that we curate for them. But it doesn't end with the film festival because you have a monthly film club now as well. Yes, we do. And, and that's, that's been going, going well. Yeah, it's going really well, actually. Um, it's in conjunction with Changemakers Donegal and Concern Worldwide. And actually, Concern are coming up to the uh, documentary screening on the Saturday, which will be run in sponsorship with Concern Worldwide and Donegal Changemakers. It's been hugely successful. Again, showing films that have uh, that ask questions, that create discussions around the environment, around you know domestic violence, um, around what was the last one we did, around uh, life on the border, actually between Donegal Dairy and 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 um, and Tyrone. Uh, so we that has proved to be a really beneficial thing. If you know what it is, bringing the arts into rural areas of Donegal that maybe don't see them on a monthly basis and people will know that on the first Friday of every month you know I can be in Ballyliffin or I can be in Clamani and um, we're going to watch some some film and have a discussion around it. Brilliant well it's on uh, weekend after this Friday week we open on the Friday week. yeah yeah and uh, more information can be got I presume on the website the website is disappearherefilmfest.com all right, brilliant. Well, isn't the, the best luck with it? Hope it all goes to plan. Michael, appreciate you. Taking Thank you, time. John. Thank you, sir.